Hello, I'm Aurora. Hope you're going well. Sorry I haven't done a show for a while. I've been very busy making sheds, doing things around the house and looking after my children and yeah. Okay, so I just wanted to do a quick show talking about eating for God, which I haven't heard it put that way. Uh, there are verses in the Bible about, you know, not eating this food and not eating that food and about not being gluttonous because we need to not overeat and yeah there's been times where I've eaten too much and then I'm like oh I'm sorry God I ate too much and it's something that I think is it's something just so easy to do where we can be doing something for God each day we go okay what am I going to eat for you God because my body is the temple of God okay Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Yeah, so I try to remember every day that when I'm going to eat some food that I need to put the right stuff in. You know, over the last few years, people have been putting all sorts of things into their bodies and I don't think that's right and as a Christian someone who loves God I want to put the right stuff in so when I'm choosing my food I try to always go okay God is this something that I can eat so yeah it kind of began just before I had children uh, before I got married I the year before about I became a vegetarian because I read some books and I was like oh I want to do this for God because you know you know I don't want to have to you know have kill animals and I don't want to have um, you know I, I want it to kind of be like what it was in the Garden of Eden you know with no death and no sin and um, so I had this kind of view where I was like oh I'll try and do this for God um, but I ended up uh, quite malnourished and I married, got married and that, the man was an, a meat eater. So I ended up having some fish and then I ended up having meat again uh, as the years went on. And yeah, I'm not married now, but um, probably beginning with having my children is where I really started to go, oh, I don't want my child to eat this and this and this because I know that they're not good so oh I better not have them and I really started to change my diet but it was it was just one thing at a time and over the years it's been so many different things that I've then changed and basically now we try to have you know as little processed food as possible so none to little amount yeah and so we'll have like whole foods you know instead of going and buying chips we'll make chips instead of buying bread we'll make bread uh, we'll have, you know, whole apples and, you know, um, whole fruits and whole veggies and we'll make the stuff ourselves. So we make our own bread, biscuits, main meals, desserts and, yeah. So also about me, I am mostly gluten free and 100% dairy free and that's been going really well and we have like a high protein diet we have lots of kangaroo meat you know, what else? lamb and turkey and we have high um, you know good fats like coconut oil uh, olive oil avocado a little bit of avocado oil hemp seed oil and rice bran oil yeah so anyway so yeah, um, we try to eat well so that every day we're going, okay, does God want me to eat this? Yes, okay, so I have it and, and don't overeat. Just have, you know, a good amount to keep you keep you going, keep your body going and everything. And um, we have now, we only have two main meals, two meals really. Um, so we have like a, a brunch, lunch thing and then we'll have a, an early dinner and before then we used to just like snack and snack and snack and snack and snack and yeah we don't really do that anymore and so yeah it's going well 
feeling the best that I have, you know, ever really. <laughs> and thank you God that he's helped show me, you know, what foods are good to eat and what foods to stay away from. So yeah, we don't have sugar <laughs> as well. And yeah, we have honey. We go to the local markets and get honey and buy as much, you know, local fruit and veg, you know, ones that um, try to get organic. But even like if you go to the main supermarkets, the organic stuff can have still like fungicides and stuff that they've sprayed to help it not go bad and stuff. So, you know, it's better to have as little chemical as possible. And so we try and have local stuff that doesn't have any chemical. It's just fresh off the trees type of thing or fresh from the vine. Yeah, so just want to encourage you to eat for God, <laughs> eat well because your body is a temple of God and the Holy Spirit lives in you. Yeah, so, okay, that's all. Have a really good week. Bye.